Hey there, I just want to answer some questions that we get asked very frequently about instant hot water. So first of all, I have a drawing here of a home and I have a tankless water heater. This could be a tank or a tankless. Some tanklesses will have a built-in pump. Some of them will have an external one and most tanks, uh, hot water tanks will have an external pump. But um, as a service technician, what I see out there in the field, those are the predominant things that we encounter. And then I just made a very simple um, drawing here showing, let's just say a main bathroom, there could be other utility bathrooms, single um, floor uh, home, but sometimes you have like two or three stories and this gets a bit complex and more like a 3D drawing with a lot of complications. Um, and then this right here would be a kitchen. So um, what I have here is some kind of an efficient way how your house might have been built. So the, the water lines, could have been ran sort of like to the nearest bathroom and then you have a branch here, a T, so you have cold and hot going to, you know, those sinks, showers, whatever, and then you have another main line going over here. From there you can have it branch off other places. But let's just say this is the scenario that you have. Uh, what I want to point out is that although most people would like to have instant hot water at any faucet in the house and they would like that to be within a few seconds, uh, they want it to be hot within a few seconds. Um, a lot of them can't be done that way without re-engineering all of the piping in the house. And so what's most likely to happen, if you were to run some sort of a uh, research loop from the farthest location, then that location right there uh, will have hot water recirculating um, basically forward through this main hot water line, which is existing uh, and installed in the home. And then the new recirculation line um, would be allowing that hot water to come back into the unit and be reheated. Um, and then there's more details we can go into on how that works, but just for the purpose of the video here, I just want to explain why in some scenarios you can't get um, hot water everywhere in the house, only at certain locations. Now, let me explain another thing. Uh, there is another drawing that I made here just uh, to give an example. And in this situation, we have sort of like a main line over here, and then we have somewhat equal branches coming off of that main line. Again, here you can choose, I just say the main bathroom gets instant hot water, and then basically this entire length of pipe would get um, instant hot water, and the rest of it still has to bleed out the cold water before it gets hot. But the way I drew it here is the most ideal situation where you pick the farthest location, in this case the kitchen, and that gets the hot water instantly. And then all of the other, you know, utility rooms, other bathrooms, they only have to bleed maybe 10, 20 feet of um, line before it gets hot. So um, best case scenario in terms of upfront cost and, um, you know, how involved this work could be from what I've seen is to just pick the farthest location and then everything along the way will get some benefit from that. There's another thing that I've seen um, and usually, you know, I mean a lot of crawl spaces and attics and things like that. So I just observe all these things. Um, let's just say I'm going to draw a smaller scale house here. So let's just kind of stick with the same type of floor plan. Um, and let's just say this is your garage, right? Um, a lot of times what I see people will have like a main manifold in here and from here you just have this crazy looking lines just ran everywhere right so like if you have a scenario like this and you have let's just say your main bedroom is the one that you wake up you want to use the sink or the shower and you don't want to wait for hot water or waste that water in the line um, you would probably choose for that to have a research loop and be instantly hot well with this type of a configuration if that's how your house was piped what will happen is these farther locations get little to no benefit from that because you only have a few feet of um, instant hot water in the vicinity of the water heater and then these farther locations will get no benefit. Same way, if you choose this location, then this one here will still have a very long way to go before it gets hot. So this type of a scenario here would be the one uh, where if you have this kind of piping, it would be the fastest way to get instant hot water to those locations and then all the adjacent outlets uh, will get much better hot water because they only have to bleed out maybe 5, 10, 20 feet of line rather than, you know, 50, 60, 70 feet of line. So 
um, I hope this makes sense and um, you know talk to your plumbing professional and uh, get some advice on that talk to your builder uh, see if there is any information you can get on how this was even done to begin with um, and sometimes you can see it from the crawl space or the attic um, but if these lines are ran up and down walls or with in between the two floors then it's probably hard to figure that out um, anyway, I'm more than happy to take any questions um, and help you get this figured out even further.